Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday and welcome to our Rhapsody reading. Today is the 19th of October and our title is Discover Yourself in Him. Our shouting scripture is from Romans 10 verse 20 and it reads, But Esaias is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. There are still many who haven't understood true Christianity. Therefore, they go about seeking God. You may say, but Jeremiah 29 verse 13 to 14 says, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart, and I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity. This scripture isn't for the Christian. Being born again, you're not in captivity. Jer- Jeremiah was referring to Israel. Don't live an Old Testament life in the New Testament. Stop seeking God. He lives in you. Colossians 2 verse 6 says, Having received Christ Jesus the Lord, we should continue to live in Him. Therefore, we are not seeking Him. We have Him. We have arrived for we are born of Him into His presence. Christianity isn't about pressing into God's presence. Christianity is carrying God's presence. You are his living tabernacle of witness. When you arrive anyway, God's presence arrives. You are the presence, hallelujah. Paul said, we make manifest the savour of his knowledge in every place. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14. When you show up, he shows up because you are one with him. The moment you realize this, your search is over. From that moment, your worship changes, your prayer life changes, your faith life changes, everything changes. You'd find that you're walking in fulfillment 24 hours a day, every day of your life, pleasing Him in all things. Blessed be His name forever. Hallelujah. I really loved this message. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. You may kindly repeat the prayer after me. Say, Precious Father, I thank you for everything I'd ever need in life is in Christ, and Christ is in me. And to have Christ is to have everything. I thank you for the privilege to be a member of his body of his flesh and of his bones. Christ in me is my assurance of a life of continuous victory and unending success. Hallelujah. And for further study, you may read 1 Corinthians 6 verse 17 and Colossians 1 verse 27. Have a wonderful day and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading. God bless you.